What's up, y'all? How you doing? <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the JB and I show. I am your host, Isaac Middleton. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> we're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat and um, the new movie that's coming out April 16th. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to talk to you about it. Oh my goodness, I'm very excited. Excited, I'm excited. Yes, let's get this ball rolling. Okay, Mortal Kombat, the crazy video game that have iconic sayings that just stuck with us throughout the years, such as, Finish him! <laughs> and flawless victory. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> it has made its way, those things has made its way to uh, music, uh, memes, cartoons. Oh my goodness, it's just been like excellent, excellent, excellent. Mortal Kombat, the video game, came out around about 1992 with the first movie rendition or live action rendition of the video game coming out in 1995. The movie pretty much followed uh, the character Luke Kane um, as he learned about the uh, Mortal Kombat events and such like that. Uh, if you expecting it to be a deep love, uh, love type theory movie, you're going to be disappointed. It's an action movie. Everybody go there for the action. <laughs> it's a slobber knocker. <laughs> and uh, since that movie, a lot, a lot of other renditions of that movie has come out uh, from anime to cartoon series to um, in-game movie. Uh, uh, I want to say movie theory, but... It's an in-game movie. As you play the video game, a storyline pans out. But depending on your choices and your character choices and your choices that your character makes will affect the outcome of the movie or of the uh, video game. So if you win it as Sub-Zero and depending on your choices there, it will determine how Sub-Zero do when he wins the Mortal Kombat. If you win as Sang Song, same thing. So it, it, it encourages the player to continue to play as you play all the characters. <laughs> Which is something that I did. I did it. I did it. So you, as you play all the characters and win the game and all these different characters and see how it ends. And it has several different endings that you can enjoy. And some you might agree with, some you don't agree with. But, you know, but it's, it's just wonderful you know, to see it uh, there as you playing the game and, and actively see it like pans out. Uh, from the choices that you made with your character throughout the course of the video game. I, and then, and it continued to come out about as time progressed as well. So you had uh, Mortal Kombat, Annihilation, Mortal Kombat, Armageddon, you know, and, and the several portrayal of these different characters, the iconic characters such as Sub-Zero. Everybody loves Sub-Zero. When Sub-Zero came out the first time, uh, the the crowd went wild in the theater. I was just like, oh my goodness, blown away by it, right? Marvel so, Kombat cartoon series and watching that and and cartoon has a tendency to mimic the movie theater uh, actor portrayal. So if it's portrayed by uh, Christopher Lambert, then rating gonna look similar to Christopher Lambert. If it's portrayed by someone else, it's gonna look similar to that other person and such like that. But uh, Raiden has his look, and that's just like, you know, that's that's Raiden, you know. Um, this movie that's coming out in April, April 16th, doesn't necessarily follow the storyline. And that was something that I thought was interesting. Um, like the most of the other ones either follow the storyline of Luke Kang or one of Luke Kang's ancestors and such like that. But this one doesn't. It, it kind of follow. Uh, sub, not Sub Zero, Scorpion. It tells a backstory about Scorpion, how Scorpion became Scorpion, basically, and 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 you get to see 
basically why he became so vengeful, you know, the vengeful spirit. Now, we who play this uh, uh, video game and watch the series and such like that know that uh, Scorpion was led to believe that it was Behan Sub-Zero that killed his family when it really wasn't. But, yeah. <laughs> he, he believed it was him and he, even, and he uh, killed him. And in one of the video games, uh, their job was to try to keep him from killing uh, Behan or uh, Sub-Zero. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> and it didn't. And it didn't. But it was fun trying. <laughs> and and uh, But Behan was far from done. He came back as the Shadow Ninja. You know, I got my little ninja shirt on. You can't really tell. This is Deadpool. <laughs> oh, that's as close as I got. I don't got no Mortal Kombat stuff. But I got Deadpool. Deadpool. But anyway... Now, seeing how uh, they portray uh, Scorpion in this movie, or from the trailer, from what I've seen, they're going to tell his backstory. They're going to talk about him and how he became uh, the undead Scorpion. I don't know if he's going to, they're going to call him something else, but he's Scorpion, uh, you know, before he died and Scorpion after he died, basically. Get over here! Another iconic thing. <laughs> but, um,. Some of the other characters that's going to be in there, we mentioned Sub-Zero, and Sub-Zero is so B.A. in this movie. He stopped a bullet, y'all, with ice. He stopped a bullet with ice. Just think of how fast. Oh, the other thing, he, he even though in the, in the video game and in the, the animated series, it wasn't Sub-Zero that took Jack's arm, but in this one, it's Sub-Zero he did it. But I was just looking at the speed and and everything. I mean, he froze Jack's arm frozen enough that he could literally broke it like an icicle. Just like, I'm just like, oh, oh my God, oh wow, okay, yeah, that that hurt. <laughs> you know, um, is it me or do the guy that played Jacks kind of look like Michael B. Jordan? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But here's the pictures. And you tell me what you think. Do Michael B. Jordan look like this guy? Or this guy look kind of look like Michael B. Jordan? To me it does. I don't know. I'm just saying. You let me know what you think. <laughs> You're invited to fight to the death. <laughs> I'll pass. I'll, I'll pass. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, my. But uh, some of the other uh, characters that's in the trailer is Melina, Sonya Blade, Raiden, Kano, uh, Kong Lao and Liu Kang. Now they didn't focus too much on Kong Lao and Liu Kang, but they they there are in the trailer, and I think that there's going to be a storyline behind them as well. And you get to see uh, Liu Kang uh, show his fighting spirit, or I don't know if it's like inner spirit, which is like the dragon or fire dragon or whatever. Uh, I think that's going to be interesting to see. You know, because like way back in what was 95, 1995, the special effects was pretty good then. And it's like, okay, it's, it's 2021. I'm expecting this, the special effects to be off the hinges. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going for the fight. I'm watching it for the battle. Let's get ready to duke it out. <laughs> so Kano is in there. I think they kind of changed... Kano's storyline because in the previous one he's a villain and he makes no qualms about being a villain he's a villain in this one it kind of seemed like they're trying to do him like a anti-hero type of person so he's not a goody two-shoes per se air quotes but he's like an anti-hero type of person so that's how they're kind of pushing him in this one and his backstory is told by Sonya Blade which traditionally going by the video games and other movies they're arch rivals they're enemies she's basically hunting him down for killing uh, her partner that's how it's gone before I don't know exactly how they're going to do it this time around but it kind of seemed like they're showing him I guess revamping his character showing him in a different light type of thing as a good guy so yeah I want to see how that works out <laughs> hopefully it's good hopefully it's good from what I've seen it's going to be good you know with the laser and everything you got the laser coming out of that. <laughs> 
And then there's Melina. Uh, she's still sadistic and psycho in this one, so I, I'm expecting Melina to still be crazy in this one. She looked like she was crazy in the, in the other one. She was crazy in this one, too, so yeah, Melina's crazy. <laughs> she's psycho! But uh, I think it's going to be good. Um, and they showed Raiden in that in this one in the trailer as well. Uh, this Raiden uh, is is more of the traditional look or the video game look, as opposed to the him with all the white hair, with all white and everything like that, which was portrayed in before by the other two actors. Which they did a wonderful job, in my opinion. But this one, he has more on his more traditional role with the thing in the blue and white. Uh, uh, uniform outfit what do you want to call it <laughs> so yeah april 16th check it out uh mortal kombat april 16th this year oh my goodness i'm looking i'm looking forward to it because like every was it like every year every couple of years a new video game rendition comes out and they introduce new characters they introduce more weapons and more scenarios and more storylines like yeah i don't know if y'all remember uh, I had to actually look it up because I couldn't remember for sure where it was a crossover with uh, was it Marvel and Mortal Kombat or was it DC and Mortal Kombat? If y'all know the answer, let me know below, okay? Alright y'all, that's all I got for you for today. Thank you so much for be here, being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. How I usually say it, what? Like it if you like it! <laughs> And subscribe for more videos. Until next time.